Sarah Palin's debate debut. Did she win? How about Sarah Palin last night, huh? Viva la Barracuda! The Barracuda? Well, the Barracuda was repeatedly wrong on the facts. We're now down to pre-surge numbers in Iraq. McClellan did not say definitively that the surge principles would not work in Afghanistan. Barack Obama even supported increasing taxes as late as last year for those families making only $42,000 a year. She was utterly faithful to the talking points. Mavericks, maverick, maverick reform, 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 even suspending his own campaign. She was quick with the canned comebacks. Say it ain't so, Joe, there you'll go again. Your plan is a white flag of surrender. She was fast and loose and occasionally weird with the Constitution. Well, I'm thankful that the Constitution would allow a, a bit more authority given to the vice president. And she even winked. Biden didn't wink. So if facts, substance, authenticity, and some distance from Dick Cheney don't count, Sarah Palin clearly won the debate. Or won by a little. Or it could be argued that she didn't lose. Only she winked. The impact of the debate, plus John... It was a battle between the veteran and the rookie, between Senator Joe Biden, who's been in Washington for more than three decades, and Governor Sarah Palin, the newcomer from Alaska. So who won? It depends on how you view Sarah Palin's brisk, rhetorical, often folksy manner. Here there is. Go to a kid's soccer game on Saturday. Joe Sixpack, hockey moms across the nation. Uh, darn right it was the Predator lenders. I'll bet you you're going to hear some fear. And it's so obvious that I'm a, a Washington outsider, and uh, the chant is, Drill, baby, drill. Barack Obama and Senator Biden. The upset of a generation, giants over patriots in the Super Bowl, or lights out like Ken Norton over Dwayne Bobbick in 58 seconds in 1977 when the telecast still had two hours to run. Well, I'm still on the tax thing because I want to correct you on that again. And I want to let you know what I did as a mayor and as a governor. And I may not answer the questions the way that either the moderator or you want to hear, but I'm going to talk straight to the American people and let them know my track record also. Well. So that, well, that's, you that's, that, wait a minute. There's a critical difference. She didn't say I'm not going to answer the questions. She said I'm not going to answer the questions in the way you or the moderator may well, want to hear. Then she proceeded not to answer. Now what the does question. that mean? Oh, uh, oh a candidate yeah. not answering a question? What no, does no. it mean? There's gambling in Casablanca? No, what does it mean? <laughs> yeah. Why did she feel the need to say that out, to spell out the fact because that she's a the question? No, here, here's why. Because she's a maverick. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh. Thank you. I counted. I counted. I counted five Mavericks against four Scrantons. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, how many? To paraphrase the great American writer Dorothy Parker. At last night's vice presidential debate, Governor Sarah Palin ran the gamut of political insight from A to B. There's no reason to make you sit through the entire debate again. We've already showed you her factual errors. We've already pointed out that the reason you're supposed to answer the moderator's questions and not the ones in your head is because questions which come at you in an order out of your control are the closest thing the viewer gets to see as to how you'd react to events which would come at you in an order out of your control. So in our number one story in the countdown, let's show you the debate as Governor Palin wanted you to see it. And just in case the writers at Saturday Night Live are still polishing up Tina Fey's sketch for tomorrow night. Governor Palin. Thank you, Gwen. Go to a kid's soccer game on Saturday. I'll bet you you're going to hear some fear. Fear, fear, a fear. People in the Senate, Barack Obama and Senator Biden, this team that is a team of mavericks. The maverick from he has been the maverick. What do you expect? A team of mavericks. Uh, also, John McCain's maverick uh, position. So maverick he is not. John McCain said at 9 o'clock in the morning that the fundamentals of the economy were strong. And, and that's what John McCain meant. But, and I'm going to keep pushing him on Anwar, though. It's my dad, who's in the audience today. Here's a shout-out to all those third graders at Gladyswood Elementary School. Joe Sixpack, hockey moms across the nation. Uh, darn right it was the predator lenders. He did support deregulation. Deregulate. Deregulate. Deregulation. Deregulation. More deregulation. Deregulated. Deregulation. Asked a guy named Joey Danko. I said, you know what his answer was? Quote, deregulation. Darn right. But if you notice, Gwen, the governor did not answer the question about deregulation. I may not answer the questions. The where I come from, it's called fairness. Simple fairness. It's fair. That's not patriotic. 
Governor, are you interested in defending Senator McCain's health care plan? I am, because he's got a good health care plan that is detailed, and I want to give you a couple of details on that. You place a $12,000 plan with a $5,000 check you've just given to the insurance company. I call that the ultimate bridge to nowhere. You know what I had to do in the state of Alaska? From Wasilla Main Street, and how long have I been at this? Like five weeks? And I don't want to argue about the causes back in the day when men and women were free. People stop the greed and corruption on corruption and the greed. And my answer is the same as his, and, and it is that I do not. The policy of this administration has been an abject failure. Ah, say it ain't so, Joe. Enough is enough with your ticket on constantly looking backwards. And we need to look back even two years ago, and we need to be appreciative of John McCain. And two years ago, remember, it was John McCain. Now, John McCain, thankfully, we have John McCain to thank. Thanks to John McCain. We also have John McCain to thank. For I want to talk about, again, uh, my record on energy versus your ticket's energy uh, ticket also. Drill, drill, drill. Drill, baby, drill. Clean, green, natural gas. Nuclear energy, the nuclear, nuclear armed, air nuclear